गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल टूडे आई एम हेयर टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स वी आर डूइंग अवर सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज एडिशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर डूइंग थ्री थिंग्स थ्री डिजिट एडिशन विद रीग्रुपिंग एडिंग बिगर नंबर एंड स्टोरी सम्स बेस्ड ऑन एडिशन वी स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर विद थ्री डिजिट एडिशन विद रीग्रुपिंग Our first number is four three seven, and the second number is three five six. When we add both these numbers, see clearly four three seven plus three five six. We are doing our question step by step. In the first step, you can clearly see seven and six are on the ones place. First, we add ones and regrouped. When we add seven plus six is equal to thirteen, we know thirteen equals to one tens and three ones. So we write one. So we write three in the ones place and one in the tens place. And in the second step, we add tens. Three plus five plus one equals to nine tens. And we write nine. In the tens place. In the third step, we add hundreds. Four plus three equals to seven. So we write seven on the hundreds place. Now we are doing one example of this type of question. We have two numbers six three five and two four nine. You can see five and nine. Is on ones place. First, we add both these numbers. Five plus nine equals to fourteen. You know, fourteen ones equals to one tens plus four ones. So we write four on ones place and one on tens place. And in the next step, we add tens. One plus three plus four equals to eight. So We write eight on tens position, and in the next step, we add hundreds. Six plus two equals to eight, so we write eight on the hundreds position. Now we are doing next type of question. In this type of question, we regrouped tens place. We have two numbers: five, seven, one. And three, three, one. Students, remember, ten tens equals to one hundred. Ten tens equals to one hundred. Now we start our question. See, first of all, we add ones number. One plus one equals to Two, and in the next step, we add tens number seven plus three equals to ten. We know ten tens equals to one hundred plus zero tens. So I write zero on the tens place and one on the hundreds place. And in the next step, I I add five plus three plus one. Equals to nine, and our final answer is nine zero two. And our final answer is nine zero two. Now we are doing one more example of this type of question. We have two numbers five three two and three seven seven. First of all, we add ones place digits. Two plus seven equals to nine. In the next step, we add Tens digits three plus seven equals to ten. One ten. I write zero on the tens place and one on the hundreds place because we know one ten equals to one hundred plus zero ten. And in the next step, we add hundreds digits five plus three plus one equals to nine. And our overall and final answer is nine zero nine. Now 
we start our next type of question regrouping hundreds student see clearly we have two numbers 900 and 300 in the first step we add ones 0 plus 0 equals to 0 and in the next step we add tens that is 0 plus 0 equals to 0 again and in the third step we add hundreds in the next step we add hundreds that is 9 plus 3 equals to 12 so I write you know 1200 equals to 10 hundred plus 200 and students you know 10 hundred equals to 1000 so I write 2 on the hundred place and 1 on the thousand place and our overall answer is 1 2 0 0 ok now we are doing one more example of regrouping hundreds in this question we have two digit num three digit numbers 832 and 367 first of all we add two numbers ones place that are on ones place 2 plus 7 equals to 9 and in the next step we add tens place digits that is 3 plus 6 equals to 9 again and in the next step we add hundreds place digits that are 8 plus 3 equals to 11 I write 1 because we know 1100 equals to 10 hundred plus 100 10 hundred equals to 1000 plus 100 so I write 1 on the hundred place and another one on the thousand place and our overall answer is 1199 1199 now we are doing next question add by regrouping the tens and ones in this question both the regrouping are occurs ones and tens so first of all we add ones place digits that is 5 and 9 5 plus 9 equals to 14 so I write 4 in the ones place and 1 on the tens place in the next step I add 1 plus 9 plus 4 equals to 14 again and I, and I write 4 in the tens place and 1 in the hundreds place and in the next step I add hundreds place digits 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 9 and our final answer is 9 4 4 now we are doing addition of bigger numbers we have two numbers 3 4 8 2 and 5 0 0 4 write in this way now we start addition in the first step we add 2 plus 4 equals to 6 in the next step we add 8 plus 0 equals to 8 and in the third step we add 4 plus 0 equals to 4 and in the last step we add 3 plus 5 equals to 8 I hope you got it now we are doing estimating the answer in this question let two numbers 4 5 6 and 3 4 0 we have two numbers 3, 4, 5, 6 and 3, 4, 0. We know 4, 5, 6 lies between the 400 and 500 and 340 lies between the 300 and 400. So, when we estimate, we estimate that our answer lies between the 700 and 900 okay now we are doing one question of this type of we have two numbers 358 and 426 358 lies between the 300 and 400 
426 lies between the 400 and 500 our estimate answer lies between the 700 and 900 but when we actually add both these numbers we got 784 as a answer so this is the question of estimating now we do story sums based on addition we take one example in a cattle shed there are 350 cows and 212 buffaloes how many animals are there in the cattle shed in the solution we write number of cows is equal to 350 number of buffaloes is equal to 212 now we add both these numbers 0 plus 2 equals to 0 5 plus 1 equals to 6 3 plus 2 equals to 5 so there are 562 animals in the cattle shed i hope you all understand the topic very well thank you for watching this video